If you're a lover of the circus, when you think of Sarasota, Florida, Ringling Brothers might be one of the first things that comes to your mind. Indeed, the founder, John Ringling, made warm and sunny Sarasota the spot where the circus set up camp for the winter back in 1927. For those not into the circuses of yesteryear or today, there's still plenty to do in Sarasota, Florida. If you're looking for things to do in Sarasota, or if you're curious to see if it's the spot for your next vacation, keep watching for our top picks in this perfect all-season destination. The John and Mabel Ringling Museum of Art The John and Mabel Ringling Museum of Art was founded by the same family that created the famed Ringling Brothers Circus. In the 1920s, the circus chose Sarasota as a place to spend the winter due to the warm weather. So that's where the Ringling family ended up calling home. Over the years, John and Mabel Ringling amassed a massive personal art collection of Greek and Roman, medieval and Renaissance art, all of which is now on display at the museum. The grounds are equally gorgeous, with courtyards featuring bronze cast statues, classical fountains, and stunning views over Sarasota Bay. Lido Beach are you eager to get some sand, sun, and surf while on vacation in Sarasota? There are numerous beaches along the coastline, but one of the most accessible, yet still lovely, is Lido Beach. It's located 5 miles from the city center and boasts a 3,000-foot-long beach full of soft, white sand and warm waters. Head there for sunbathing, shell hunting, and swimming. The calm waters are great for kids. There's lots of free parking, a gift shop, and picnic tables to enjoy a packed lunch on. Hey, if you're enjoying this video so far, be sure to give it a like and subscribe to Vucation if you haven't already. And stick around for more of the best of Sarasota. Sarasota Farmer's Market If you're a passionate foodie or dedicated locavore, keep your Saturday mornings free for a visit to the Sarasota Farmer's Market. Hold off on breakfast because this is the perfect spot to grab eats as you wander the stalls of cooked foods, locally grown fruit and vegetables, handcrafted dairy products, jams and preserves, and so much more. You could even shop for a delicious Saturday night dinner while you're there. And there are all kinds of locally made arts and crafts to purchase too. Sarasota Golf Courses while Sarasota might not be on the top of your list when it comes to Florida golf getaway locations, it's not short of quality courses. The area is home to courses that date back to the early 20th century. Easy access public clubs include Tatum Ridge Golf Links and Bobby Jones Golf Club, the latter of which was founded in 1927. If you want to pay for a membership, you can head to pretty private clubs like Sarah Bay Country Club, the Founders Golf Club, and TPC Prestancia. Mayaka River State Park Mayaka River State Park is one of the oldest and largest in the entire state. There are close to 40 miles of walking trails and numerous mountain bike trails that lead you through an astonishingly diverse range of classic Florida habitats, from boggy wetlands to grass-covered prairies. There's also a river and two lakes to explore on a kayak, canoe, or one of the famed Florida airboats. Amateur and experienced anglers can also head there to catch their dinner. The Crowley Museum and Nature Center if you're looking for a bit of education for the kids in your Sarasota vacation, plan to spend a day at the Crowley Museum and Nature Center. You'll learn what it would have been like to live in Florida between 500 BC and 1650 AD. Understand more about the pioneer lifestyle in the area, learn about sustainable agricultural methods, including gardening and spearfishing, and head out for a spot of bird watching. If you want to really immerse yourself in an ancient way of life, book a guided primitive camping adventure for the whole family. Moat Marine Laboratory and Aquarium The Moat Laboratory and Aquarium is located 5 miles from downtown Sarasota, and it's the perfect place to spend half a day learning about the aquatic life of Florida. Highlights include the nine highly informative oceanic exhibits, two of which are interactive, and an enormous shark tank. There's a restaurant on site as well as a gift shop, so it's a great place to grab lunch and shop for unique souvenirs. The aquarium is on the smaller side and can get busy, so aim to get there early or visit on the weekdays to avoid crowds. There's an admission fee of $20 for adults, children cost less, and the on-site parking is free. Siesta Beach and Key Siesta Beach and Siesta Key are other local favorites to add to your travel itinerary. Believe it or not, the sand on Siesta Beach doesn't get hot from the sun. It's made from pure quartz that washes down from the nearby Appalachian Mountains. So it's a perfect spot for those with sensitive feet or families with young kids. The beach is dotted with colorful lifeguard huts there to keep swimmers safe, and there are shaded parking spots beneath pine trees. In the summer, there are craft markets and food stalls to keep your belly and your need for souvenirs satisfied. Kadzan 
Cod Zahn was once home to John and Mabel Ringling, and as such, it sits right opposite the stately John and Mabel Ringling Museum of Art. Architecture buffs will be keen to admire the mansion's Venetian Gothic-style architecture and carefully crafted interiors, including a marble terrace looking out over Sarasota Bay, a roof made from 16th-century Spanish tiles, and even an 82-foot-high domed tower. You can choose from a short or extended tour, with ticket prices starting at around $30. St. Armand's Circle If you think St. Armand's Circle is a simple shopping and restaurant spot, think again. For starters, there are over 130 shops in the complex, all arranged in a convenient circular fashion, perfect for vacation window shopping. There are several salons where you can get everything from massages to your nails done. And with around 20 diverse eateries, you won't be short on lunch or dinner spots. John Ringling designed the circle, so there's a circus ring of fame featuring the names of legendary circus performers, and Italian sculptures are dotted around the place, many sourced directly from the Ringling collection. Sarasota Trolley Tours If you're looking to learn about the history and attractions of Sarasota, jump on a trolley tour. The cute vintage trolley travel around the city for about 90 minutes, passing by hot spots like downtown Sarasota, St. Armand Circle, Gillespie Park, and Siesta Keys. You'll get a narrated history from the knowledgeable drivers, replete with insider knowledge, local gossip, and a few jokes. Some tours let you hop off and on to experience each spot in person, too. Marie Selby Botanical Gardens Anyone with a green thumb will enjoy a tour of the Marie Selby Botanical Gardens. The gardens are named after local amateur yet passionate gardener Marie Selby and were opened in 1975 following her passing. She was an enthusiastic grower of epiphytes, which are plants that grow on trees in the forest canopy. So you can expect to see a lot of rare and exciting plants like orchids and ferns. There's also an educational rainforest garden for children, a tranquil butterfly garden planted with flowers that attract our fluttery friends, and a mangrove forest boardwalk. Howie Mansion Another historic Sarasota home worth stopping by is Howie Mansion. This elegant home was built at the height of the Art Deco era by William J. Howie, a pivotal figure in the Central Florida citrus industry. Interestingly, it was designed by one of the few women architects working at the time, Catherine Cothiel Budd. She typically designed more utilitarian buildings, so this is one of the only surviving examples of her residential work. Today, the mansion is home to the Players Theater and open to the public for limited one-hour tours. Sarasota Classic Car Museum The Sarasota Classic Car Museum has been a tourist staple for decades. It's the second oldest antique car museum in America. In the main exhibition space, there are more than 70 genre-smashing cars dating from the turn of the 20th century to today. There are also temporary exhibits focusing on certain brands or designers. In 2021, for example, they showcased vehicles crafted by car design masters Ferdinand Porsche and Enzo Ferrari. The museum is open every day, and tickets are affordable enough to take the whole family. Now it's time to hear from you. Did we miss any of your favorites in Sarasota? Let us know in the comments section below. And before you go, make sure you give this video a like and subscribe to Viewcation if you haven't already. Click the bell icon to stay updated on all our latest content.